हेलो गाइस टुडे वीडियो इज अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो अबाउट द बीटल ट्रिपल सेवन वी आर वन मॉडम इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू डेट हाउ यू कैन कम फिगर योर मॉडम फॉर द स्टैटिक आई पी एज वेल एज फॉर द डायनामिक आई पी एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग डी वी आर कैमराज हाउ यू कैन सेट यूर पोर्ट्स टू सी द डी वी आर कैमरा फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड यू कैन गिव इट अ नेम पोर्ट फॉर वेडिंग एज वेल ऑल्सो शो यू डेट हाउ यू कैन असाइन द आई पी टू योर मशीन ट्रैक्टली वाई द राउटर Anyways my name is Atul you are watching Techobia so let's get started First of all you need to access the interface of your modem for which default IP is 192.168.1.1 then you need to use the username and the password where default is admin and password and once you are there there you can see like here the product type is mentioned 777VR1 When you click on the setup then you need to click on the van if you scroll down to the bottom you can see multiple options around 5 first i suggest you to delete all those delete all those one by one because there is no chance for any contradiction after that and once we are done then from the channel type we need to select the ptm and in the channel mode for the static ip we need to select the ipoe then here directly in the wan ip settings we need to add our local ip address we are remote ip address is same but the last digit is replaced with 1 and the net mask is common and after that every setting is okay you just only need to click on the add and once you are done when you scroll down you can see only the single setting is there and you need to edit that to make your internet working when you click on it you need to click on enable and in the vlan you need to enter 100 and click on apply changes once you are done just wait for few seconds and then check your internet that is it working or not because you need to see the dsl link stable in case if it is not stable on your modem So right now the link is stable on my modem so I'm going to check that internet is working or not just by opening the google.com As I am looking at internet is working fine so right now I'm going to tell you that how you can configure the modem for the dynamic IP like normal IP routine IP with your user ID and password you can also click on select the previous option or you can delete all those and again start from the scratch we are similar as to the previous you need to select the channel type as a ptm because ptm is for the vdsl then beside ipoe you need to select triple poe then beside the wan ip settings you need to insert the username where username is like 0172 and something xxx underscore dsl which uh, must be provided to you by your airtel broadband and your password in most of the cases your customer id is your password and once you are done then you need to click on the modify if you are editing that if you are like deleting all the options then in that case you need to click on add once you are done then you can check the internet once you found your dsl link stable If it is already stable you can directly check by opening any particular website. I'm going to tell you that how you can set up a port forwarding or set up a DVR settings for your camera. Here in advance click on the net. There you need to click on the virtual server. There you see this WAN port and this LAN open port. WAN port is a port which is configure to your static ip like if you are just accessing your ip from the outside world with this port and where it should redirect is a lan open port like example 80 port for the web server example same configured for your dvr cameras and the lan ip address which you configured for your camera if you don't know that how you can configure the local ip for your camera later on in the same video i will show you that how you can assign the ips to your system automatically from your routers so here the address to my camera is like 1.160 so i am setting up a different port so it is not going to contradict with my web server 
which is configured on another machine. So from the outside world, if I access my static IP with the 801 port, it automatically shows me my DVR camera configured on the same number. Similar, if you want to like set up a particular FTP, here the port are of two types, TCP, UDP, where normally all the protocols run on the TCP, if you are not configuring any server like the transmission or so on. So example, if I need to set up it for the FTP to access my FTP server configured on some particular machine, for that case I want at both of the ends the port should be 21. So as my web server is configured on 90 port on my local machine, so it automatically redirects it to the 21 port to that particular machine if the request comes to my static IP along with port 21. So now the question is like if you want that uh, how you can assign the IPs to your particular devices directly via the router. So for that you need to perform the DSCP setting. For that what you need to do, you need to click on the setup, then need to click on the LAN and there click on the DSCP static. Here you see it has the option to add the MAC address along with the IP address. So what you need to do, you just only need to find the MAC address of your hardware device like DVR camera or your machine like in the windows, we can see the MAC address of our Wi-Fi just by pressing start I then click on the Wi-Fi and then here whatever the name is of the Wi-Fi router you just only need to click on the Wi-Fi name here at the last you can see physical address this is the address and you need to copy the same address and here you need to remove the hyphens as default format is this and then you can write any IP which you want to assign to that particular Wi-Fi device. So in case if I am assigning this, whenever I enable my laptop and connect it to the Wi-Fi to the same router, this IP address will be assigned to my machine automatically. So by this you can assign the IPs to your hardware, to your DVR cameras. So in case your cameras will always get the same IP. So whenever you will access it from the outside world using the port forwarding, you can access the same. You can also check my other videos which I created on the Airtel if you just uh, look for the videos by using the keyword Airtel VDSL. As you can see like my videos in the top and even on the front page. This is all your love that my all the videos are on the top first page. So thank you for watching this video as well. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Sub to show your love. Thank you for watching. See you soon in upcoming video. Bye bye.